The vision for Bull Hill is for a residential led scheme that looks to retain green and open spaces and car parking, plus introduce new uses such as community space and offices. So the master plan for Transform Leatherhead was obviously um, de developed back in 2016 and at the time um, there was a considerable amount of community input as to what they felt was, was right for the area um, and, and this was seen as a, as a way to extend the town centre and, and have a, a gateway between the, the station and the, and the town centre. Yeah and uh, in last April it was confirmed that the railway station had been successful uh, in securing funding from the Department of Transport for uh, an access program. Um, basically what that's going to mean is it's going to improve access to the station and all the platforms and that we hope that we're going to be able to provide further information on that at a later date is a piece of work that Network Rail are actually undertaking but that we're hoping it's going to complement all the work that we're actually doing as part of the TL scheme. Yeah. So whilst we're hoping to provide uh, further information on that project in due course, it does fit nicely with what we're trying to do in Bull Hill. Um, and I think one of the other considerations of Bull Hill as well as access to the station is very much the green space. Mm -hmm. There was a number of people that were really concerned that we were going to be building on the parks. Um, and I was just wondering, Ali, if you'd be able to explain a little bit more about that. The vision for Bull Hill is a residential-led scheme yeah. that can actually enhance the park. So you retain the green spaces surrounded by new buildings and actually create a much better public realm and pedestrian route that connects the station with the town centre. And there will be some some sort of limited commercial use or, or sort of other community uses there as yeah. well, is that right? So back at the time of the master plan, the vision was for large format yeah. retail. That doesn't happen anymore and the market's moved on. Um, so having focused on the Swan Centre and done the master plan already, the, the findings of that is that all the retail we need should be accommodated in the Swan Centre and in the High Street. That gives the opportunity for Bull Hill to be far more community-led, office use, co-working, those sorts of uses that still attract a footfall but without competing with the High Street. It's almost a different quarter really of the TL master plan, isn't it? And um, I think my understanding is that we're going to be trying to build on the, the car parks um, retaining that green space as you've already highlighted so hopefully the two with the public realm connectivity that you've spoken about will link nicely together. And I suppose it's worth just reiterating again that this is all part of the um, the draft local plan yeah. so it's, it's out for consultation yeah, in February and March and we need to know what people think about yeah. um, about building on this site and, and what they think yeah. the uses should be and, yeah. and so on and so forth so um, you know please you know we're just encouraging everybody to, to get involved. Mm. Yeah.